Okay, so today we're gonna look into my third product collection and um, I'm gonna add the price of each uh, product and we're gonna see how much it's worth at the end. So I'm gonna go in order of release date. So the oldest thing I have is a Hidden Fates ETB. Then I have a Champion's Path ETB. So amounts adding and we have both evolving skies these are not pokemon 20 editions but uh, look it's evolving skies we definitely need that i'm gonna run out of space to put them but here we go we have the uh, celebrations pokemon center all right we also have well, this one is still available at the Pokemon Center right now. You know, it's a Fusion Strike ETB. Yeah, I'll show you these ones that you know came out around this time. So we got the Flareon it's the Premium Collection with the, the Jolteon, V Max, and we got the Vaporeon. So. Everything you see here is pretty much ideas of what you can get a sub product if you want. Then we have uh, Brilliant Stars Pokemon Center Edition. We got another Pokemon Center Astro Radiance. We've got the uh, Lost Origin Pokemon Center Edition. So we also have look Arceus V figure collection with the Cosmic Eclipse pack, which is the most expensive booster pack I have. And then we also have the other Arceus, this one from the GameStop exclusive. This one honestly, it's uh, I'm really surprised at how high the price has been going. Uh, how many evolving skies you get? Um, I don't even know. I don't even know, honestly. Maybe there is a evolving skies. I don't think there is. Okay, so now we're at Silver Tempest Pokemon Center Edition. We have Crowns in it that came out. That's the last of the Sword and Shield, right? So that's a regular ETB, this is a bargain right now, you can go and find them easily at stores. So we have two of them, the special sets, I'm gonna collect two of the ETBs, the regular ones, and two of the Pokemon Center versions. For every special set, I'm gonna try to do that. So since it's a special set, we also got the mini teams, there's 20 booster packs in this. So this is like the most amount of booster packs you can get in one crown zenith. And we also got crown zenith exactly premier figure. 11 packs, more than ETB. But not more than the Pokemon Federal. And then after that, we have the Scarlet and Violet era. And the Scarlet and Violet era, I didn't buy the Scarlet and Violet, the first Pokemon Center ones. The first one I got was probably about The Scarlet and Violet ones, as soon as they came out, everything crashed the prices. So buying two ETBs Pokemon Center is completely made. I could have bought the Gardevoir set, you know, the best Gardevoir set. Anyways, but they evolved. Um, that's the first one, Pokemon Center version. With the Pikachu card. Then we have the Obsidian Flames Pokemon Center version with the Charmander card. Maybe I should have showed them, but now it's time to show everything I have. You know, you could have taken them with the products are. And I also have the, the Pokemon Center UPC um, Ultra Premium Collection, right? This one's uh, at least 400. 50 bucks about Canadian 
Alright, and then the next set was Pokemon 151. So we got two regular ATVs. We also have the mini Tim collection. 20 packs, it's not completely torn on the side. Well, what can I do? We also have the Pokemon Center versions. Two of them. I hope it's not done from the screen there. We have another UPC. This one, the Charizard. One UPC. Then after this, we have the Paradox Rift. Most versions. We've got the latest Cardian Fates Pokemon Center versions. They haven't opened the set yet, but I will very soon. And for the final product I have is this one. I don't want to Jap my only Japanese product. So yeah, um, I try to add the total of everything. So we're gonna see how much everything's worth. That's pretty much it for my collection. I have thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.